Well, having just done the DNT M40, I thought we ought to do the similar, look at the state this one's in, the similar LCL2740. It's the same circuit. Hmm. No power lead. Bent case. Great big bolt sticking out. There's even a burn mark on the display. But what I want to do, which is something I failed to do on the uh, on the DNT, was to show you how the VCO is set, and that was uh, commented on. So the 2740 uses exactly the same circuit but with a different layout. So I'll show you how we set the VCO on the LCL2740, and then I'll show you the layout differences between this and the DNT M40. Right, well I've managed to get this radio working enough to demonstrate this VCO lock uh, point. I just stuck a power lead on it and then I discovered there was no transmitted output because of a very dry joint on the underside of the printed circuit. There are a lot of other issues which um, I'll go into and it's transmitting off frequency but we can come to that. I'll go through the setup um, later on. We're going to do a, this is a separate video then I'll do the transmit side of this uh, when it's probably in a repaired state. So, like with the DNT M40, we've got the uh, Motorola MC14515 uh, 106 uh, synthesizer chip there. And pin 8 is the lock detector. So we need to monitor the lock detector. Now I've discovered it's a floating chassis. Yeah, floating chassis. So I've earthed my test prod to one of the cans which is at zero potential. So what we need to do is to monitor and I'll zoom in on that so you can just see where we're going. So pin 8 which is it's an 18 pin device so that's the ninth pin so that's the 8th pin the ident is there, so pin 8 is there. So what we're going to do is adjust the VCO here, the coil, until we get a logic high, which is 7.58 volts on the meter. I'm doing this on channel 20. Now this display has got three segments out, so I've managed to find channel 20 more by trial and error than anything else. So I'm going to go. I'll just zoom out so you can see the meter as well. Okay. So we're going to put the test prod on pin. Eight. Press transmit. And try and do the multiple hand shuffle. Now I have got. Or I did have when I looked at the monitor. In transmit, seven point two volts. We're in logic I. Now if I adjust the VCO inwards. Now out of lock, there's no transmit, we've got three and a half volts. When you hear the relay, the transmit receive relay is clunked out. It's controlled by the 4011 gate chip down there. So we're going to just go until we get into lock. We're in lock. And go the other way. We're out of lock. And there's the relay chattering. Into lock. And then what you're going to do is to make sure that when you go to channel 40 it's still in lock so I'm going to count the channels up from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 so I'm on channel 40 is it still in lock? and the answer is yes channel 1 that was easy, it wraps around it's still in lock so the VCO is locked 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 20 back to channel 20 
and it's in lock. So it's monitoring pin 8 of the synthesizer chip with the negative test prod to one of the uh, cans or to the earth of your power supply. We've got the transmitter going into the test set which of course has a dummy load and then we're advancing I can't tell you the coil number off uh, hand. On the M40 it's L6 so it will still be L6 on, on this LCL2740 until we get logic high which is about 7.5 volts. Now I've got a scrap chassis somewhere of the DNT and I'll just show you the layout so with the DNT radio here different layout exactly the same circuit so this time your pin of the synthesizer is 8 is there and coil L6 is there so it's quite, you see the similarities, and it is an identical circuit electrically. So there you go, it's setting the VCO on the LCL2740 under DNT M40.